what is up everyone welcome back to mechs on deck and i'm i'm back dd decline did not replace me shouts to him for for hanging out last night um with mr chewy uh, we we're joined today by mr frumps keys and keeb noob kicking off artisan april part two how y'all doing good good awesome. chilly the huge stoked to be here thank you excited to have you what about you chewy how are you doing i'm good my fingers are a little sore right now like right before we went live i had this like epic finger crack <laughs> and then can't confirm that, like <laughs> now they're like tingly <laughs> so uh yeah i'm good it's been it's been a day but uh hopefully this will be the best part of my day so plus like who doesn't like getting free stuff yes there is like we don't know i don't you know like, like we said artists in april i didn't approach anyone going you have to do a giveaway but we have very gracious donors of their hard work and perseverance so real quick um obviously uh let's see that person is not terabyte um unfortunately there was a scheduling mishap uh with her and work so um understandable like stuck work, with we're, yeah, st we're stuck with we're stuck with this, yeah. just, we're just stuck with this pro streamer. So um, why do you keep revealing my last name? I know, right? Um, pro streamer. Can I win a Chris Pie Five? Absolutely, Taru. Um, but no, it's uh, we. She's still actually going to do the giveaway, which is insane, incredible. Uh, so shout out to Terabyte. I'll post a link to her Instagram here in just a minute. But um, but yeah, we got Frumskis here. Good friend of Keeb Noob and Keeb Noob, who is our resident uh, artisan aficionado slash maybe maybe artisan anonymous. Like you should be going to AA and for artisan <laughs> anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> also also pro streamer and we'll, we'll say we'll say like maybe maybe head mod as well. Head it's, head mod. Uh, oh no, it's a, it's, it's a power <laughs> struggle between her and Brez. It's and, definitely yeah. Brez. <laughs> Her and Brez and Doodle Bob or Abraka Daniel. <laughs> True. Um, <laughs> yeah, me and Doodle Bob will agree that Brez is the number one. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's between those two. I think. To be fair, he's been the longest running mod. Yeah. True. So That's we'll just true. call him like the the, the most <laughs> senior mod. Um, <laughs> he's better. Let's be real. So, but uh, guys, real <laughs> quick, shout out to our awesome partners and sponsors. We have OmniType Cannon Keys. Um, I just went completely blank on Project Keyboards. So I was like, mm, Project, whatever. Project Keyboards and Kinetic Labs, as well as Zap Cables, Type Beast, Smith and Root, and 3D Keeps. Um, so we'll hear more from them later. We typically start off our streams with a fast four, but right now, for this month, we got a fast five. So we'll ask Frumskis first, then Miss Keeb Noob, aka Pro Streamer, aka <laughs> definitely not a baby streamer. Top four favorite switches. Ooh. Okay. Uh, to be honest, I'm not hugely into keyboards like switches uh, specifically, but I would say, uh, I don't know. I, I, I really couldn't get you with that, to be honest. Maybe, like, uh, maybe like one, maybe one or two. I like, I do like Holy Pandas. Hell yeah. There okay, it is. Okay. I'm sorry. Right. Oh, no, it's all oh, good. good. It, it's actually kind of an interesting recurring theme that artisan makers are not <laughs> as in the king. Is it really? <laughs> like, yeah. like, when, when we, we were talking like to. When we were talking to Prime Caps last week, he was like, I don't. I, I guess I like Holy Panas. <laughs> like, it was. It was an I think that's just a go to. Yeah. It's, it's a good, yeah. safe answer. It's funny too, because like I feel like I started in like artisans first, like collecting, and then I got more into keyboards. So that's interesting. For me, my opinions have changed since the last time we did the fast forward because I have experience with Zykos now, <laughs> <laughs> and they're breaking my fingers, but I like them. <laughs> but I would say my top four are probably the Boba U4 Thox. I recently put them in my current board, and they are. Amazing. I love them. Um, I say U4 Thox, probably can, can someone like, please clip that real quick? Cause like 
her being like amazing is like already needs to be an emote forever. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd say you for Thox, then probably Zykos, because they thick. They're dummy thick. And then uh maybe Zelios, because I like the tactile bump. And last I'm gonna probably go with I'm gonna say just like JWK Linears as a collection. <laughs> Because I have the little tykes and I really like them. I, I switch between linears and uh, tactiles. So nice. Me too. Yeah. Me too. It's, I can't, it's, the, I can't it's, it's the true. It's the true keeb. It's like that's when you reach nirvana, right? <laughs> when you're able to appreciate both. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. All those people out there, like Lang, that are just linear queens. It's like, come on, man. Take a <laughs> ride on the wild side. Variety is the spice of life. I'm like new, new on Mexon tech, laying discriminating, <laughs> laying discrimination, <laughs> discriminating on tech tales. <laughs> Next up will be your top four favorite key sets or just favorite key sets you've had. Am I going first again? Yes. Yes. Sir. Sweet. Okay. Uh, I actually got you on this one. So I really like GMK Cafe. I think that'll take my number one right now, just because uh, my roommate got that in, and it's it's just clean. I love it. I I love coffee, so it can't go wrong. Uh, then hyperfuse, just because you know hyperfuse, and um, probably lastly carbon. In those three orders. Yeah. Does it have um? Does it have to be sets like I have? No, or it could be ones that I'm lusting after. I would say at <laughs> least, at least be in group by. Oh, okay, okay. Because <laughs> I, or what about ones I purchased but haven't received yet? That's fine. Okay, I asked too many questions. Um, I would say my yeah, it's, it's, one... it's getting really old, Elle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my number one right now is probably GMK Tarot. I love it. And it looks so good on my teal squid. Ugh, it's beautiful. Also, Tara looks really good with all of the artisan collaborations. All of those artisans came out bomb. Um, so I'd say Tara, DSA Astrolo, he's my girl. And then I'm looking forward to receiving GMK Redacted. That one's a really cool, fun design. And then I would say fourth would be EPBT Cool Kids because it's crazy and cute. Hell yeah. <laughs> Made a good run, too. Made a good run in the key set bracket. Yeah, um, I think there's a round two announced or something, too. One's pro- EPBT, you know, DD even said EPBT hot on the rise this year. Mm-hmm. Hot on the rise. Uh, if you, I mean, as, as we've seen, unfortunately, and Finicky has been less than optimal. So EPBT could be the way. So uh, next up, your top four favorite keyboards. <laughs> Even if you've never typed on it, maybe just an appreciation of one. Okay. Um, I think number one will be the Happy Hacking keyboard. Uh, I don't own one, but uh, my roommate Sludge Kid has one. It's like probably the nicest thing i've ever typed on um it is topre but you know uh what else uh let me think um probably the tata i like the tata a lot this tata 68 i think uh that's like one of my favorite smaller keeps the one that i own that i'm using right now is an an pro so i just have to put that in the list and uh i think i think that's about it that i've ever really messed with I'm kind of a keep noob. Like I uh, have a lot of mm. artist or experience making artisans and a little bit of an artisan collection. But you know, as far as the actual keyboard stuff goes, I'm I'm branching into that like more more so lately. Is there maybe is there a board maybe you're looking at or like if you could have any board that you see in the custom hobby? I really really like smaller keyboards. So I think the um, the uh, what's it called? Uh, you you mentioned it earlier, the tofu. That that's probably something I'd be interesting at buying and like building myself and you know doing getting to experience that for the first time. Hell yeah. 
it's uh I'm trying to think of the boards I have. <laughs> I think my well my number one board right now, just because it's new, is obviously the Squid 60. <laughs> Cause she cute, and it's my first metal keyboard. Cause I pretty much exclusively have like FR four sandwich style or acrylic boards. Um, but yeah, I would say that one, my new um, Alice keyboard, acrylic one from SM Keyboards, is like super nice. That's my number two. Um, I'm looking forward to receiving the Stierka that I ordered in the wine color. That thing is gonna be lit and heavy let's so say you want to talk about heads if you talk about squid <laughs> being heavy fucking steer <laughs> i hope my desk boy. can hold up <laughs> and then, um i would say my last one because i built a lot of through hole boards is gonna be the discipline i think it's a really good value and it's really fun to build because i like having all the like components visible so yay oh yeah oh yeah the next one will be the the new the newest edition for Artisan April will be your top four favorite artisans. Ooh, okay. Like Skull, sculpts. sculpts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> can, um, I, can I ask a quick question though? Did uh, Keep Noob, did your did your cat just like yeet something yeah, onto your bed? I was about to say, did something <laughs> just fall that. off? Something I think just it was like probably my mom. Okay. Something just like came from off the screen. Oh, it's artisan. <laughs> it's artisan. <laughs> How perfect. <laughs> Live unboxing. I love I just like I'm looking and I was like, something definitely flew onto the screen. <laughs> I know. I was like, I heard my door open, but I was like, what's happening? <laughs> You trained your cat to deliver your mail? That's impressive. <laughs> Winnie, Winnie is lit. <laughs> yeah, she's super lit. Oh, okay. So they're um, Capsmith caps. Ooh. They're the, uh, the collab with so e uh, EPBT Aesthetic, which Ooh. the group I just ended recently. <laughs> so, but top four favorite sculpts, Mr. From. Sorry I interrupted you. I just was very oh, distracted. You're no, no, you're by Keep News background. <laughs> All good. Um, Okay, number one has to be the Uzushi from Sludge Kid. Uh, that's probably my favorite. I just love the spiral design. I love the skull. It, 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 it's my favorite for sure. Um, number two, probably Albumin. I don't, I, I don't own any, but you know, I'd love to. That's that's probably my second. Uh, three would be. God, this is actually really hard because there's so many awesome artisans out there. I don't want to like throw anyone, make anyone feel bad. But um, three would probably be. Hmm. Gosh, this is tough. Uh, I would say three is uh the Menlo. From Nightcaps, probably. I really want to start a Menlo collection. And then four is the Watcher from Ritual Master. I know these are all like super standard, but I'm a fanboy. And then five, <laughs> probably another Sludge Kid being the um, the Skid. He hasn't made a bunch of those lately, but it's the little cute bat. I think that those are my favorite. Favorite five for sure. Hell yeah. Sorry it took so long. I was just like, there's so uh, many to pick it's from. There's a question. 6, thousand yeah. sculpts <laughs> that I love. Um, I'm trying to think. Okay, I would say number one is going to be the CYO Ambassador. Those ones I collect. So I'm coming for your um, bears, I want to, if you're out there. <laughs> um, my second one would probably be... I'm trying to, it's hard because there's like ones that you love the sculpts, but then there's ones you collect versus like, there's a lot of different vari <laughs> variables <laughs> that go into artisans. But um, second, I would say probably the Jam Jam from Sodi Caps. I love that one, but I don't win them very often. Um, third, I'm like looking at my artisan boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Third would be I really like the copycat from Crap Shop. They're they're really cute. It looks kind of like a little they're like in like a hoodie or something, like a cat. And then fourth. 
Oh, this is so difficult. I mean, fourth, I think bongo cats are lit. It's probably a basic answer. <laughs> <laughs> but the sculpts, like the resin writing of bongos is pretty insane. And then fifth, I'm going to go with a new one that I've started collecting is Doohickey's Kudzu. They're like these little eyeballs and then there's like f- leaves around That's, it. I was trying to think of the I've name of those. that company. They're so cute. I've been, I've been going in for those raffles lately because they're just like, they're really well made. The eyes are so freaking cute. I can't handle it. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, then the I'm like, the colorways they've dropped have been amazing. Oh yeah, the like uh, the Adventure Time ones they did were just like I mean, they were, those are so cool. Mm, that, chef's that kiss. <laughs> so and then one that uh, a little outside of keyboards and artisans um, top four favorite foods. Ooh, okay. Uh, I think I'm just gonna put Korean barbecue as like number one, just as a whole. Uh, then two probably. Like breakfast, like good uh, breakfast burrito. Uh, three Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. And then four would That's be like, like super good chicken tendies, you know, some yeah. good fried tendies. Dude. Last time, last time uh, Eric and I had a meal together was, was we, we go hard on the, the Philly cheesesteaks. Ooh. <laughs> Worked at a cheesesteak restaurant. What's your favorite spot? Uh, my favorite's a place called Fred's. Um, okay, is that's that a local one, that's, joint? Yeah, it's it's pretty local. Uh, there's it's like a small local chain. That's the one that we usually go to. I don't even know if Texadelphia is. Still, are they still it's even in the open? colony now? Oh, okay, they moved. Yeah, so it's actually like so, very close to you. Yeah, dude, Texadelphia is good because they have queso. So it's like they do like I worked there in high school. So, so they have like a <laughs> traditional cheesesteak. But then they also have like chips and like queso, queso, guacamole, yeah. and it's yeah, it's just Ooh. so good. Ooh, wait, guacamole. Okay. Yeah, but but then Fred's they have crab <laughs> fries, which are like Ooh. Okay, oh. wait, crab fries. Ooh. I was there's, so two different, there's two different types of crab fries. <laughs> yeah, there's actual crab <laughs> fries, and then there's like old bay seasoned crab fries. So which one are you talking about? The old season? bay is these ones. <laughs> I don't think I, I feel like it like especially in Dallas we would not get good crab fries. No, not from a not <laughs> no, from Fred. Not, not from a Philly cheesesteak. <laughs> but they yeah. have like old bait. Like their fries are to me their fries are the like like if I want fries like I'm gonna go make an excuse <laughs> like that. Like sometimes I have gone there and eaten a Philly cheesesteak just so I can have fries. Like their fries are that good. So. Yeah, I got really upset one night. I went to this like food market thing and I ordered crab fries and there was no crabs on them. And I was like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> it's a lie. <laughs> but yeah, my brother lives it's next Mars. to those dueling cheesesteak cheese steak places in Philly. He like lives a block away from there. Oh, okay. and some Geno's. Yeah, so when I go visit, we always have to like sample each and figure out which is the reigning champ <laughs> what's the what's the thoughts what was the most recent winner uh i would say pat yeah gino's is a lot more it, the meat was more drier mm. to me. There but, it is. yeah <laughs> so but guys if you have not checked out our awesome Ooh. guests uh or sorry what Gino. oh l i'm dumb OMG. OMG. How dare you? Is it because I'm not good at business? What yeah, is it's, this? It's, you're too young. You're too young. <laughs> um, so my top four are going to be, I would agree Korean barbecue is probably the reigning champ for me. Then I would do sushi. It's always sushi Friday. I don't care what you're saying. <laughs> Three, I would do, I'm going to go chicken nuggets. I love chicken nuggets. And four, I'm going to say Hawaiian, like, plate lunch. I love Ooh. Hawaiian food. Get that mac salad. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like loco moco. Oh, yeah. I, I'm down for all that I miss. Sody Pops has got some recommendations. I'm going to go tell my brother. Pats and Geno's are not good. Ooh. I mean, it's, it's greasy beef on bread. Like, so I'm sure it's at least okay. <laughs> But the thing is, because I went to Philly when 
I mean, I'd been through a couple times when I was touring and stuff. And one of the guys that worked with the band that I worked for, um, he was from Philly and he's like, yeah, no, Pats and Gina's is bad. Cause it's like set up to be, it's like set up to serve like a bunch of people. So it's just like uh, a vat of like cooked like steak. Or yeah. I'm Ooh. sure. The, I'm sure the best, fresh. I'm sure the best <laughs> Philly cheesesteak is just some dude on like a corner with a cart. Yeah. Yeah. Just some, ra- someone just random. some random dude. That's just like, he doesn't even know he's the best. So, uh, but anyways, now I'll actually semi formally introduce our guest, but we have Mr. Frumps Skis on Hello. deck. Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining us, guys. You. If you have not checked out his website, sorry, I am having a hard time using my computer. Apparently, not, and yep, that's my day. <laughs> so. You can hit up frumpskis.com. That is frumps with a Z. He's got some awesome, uh, awesome stuff on there. Some cool keychains and as well as some other blanks and some sculpts like the rune clack, which we'll talk more about those horns later as you made an interesting comment about them earlier. And then as our, as we said, our resident artisan addict, uh, key noob. So welcome to Mex on deck guys. Woo. Get some, let's get some Mex on shakas in the chat. What's up, what's some up? horns. Thank you. Horns and shakas all day long. So, yeah. um, the typical, the usual, how did you get into artisan making? Uh, my roommate actually, uh, I mentioned before my roommate is sludge kid, but, uh, yeah, actually we've been friends since high school. He got into uh, making artisans for about a year and I, it looked fun. I'm, I'm kind of crafty. And so I figured what the heck, why not? And uh, so I just kind of, he kind of helped me with my first sculpt, not like sculpting it, but you know, molding their uh, first process, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I mean, I, I primarily owe it up to, or owe it to him. Other than uh, that, like I would have probably never been introduced to the hobby. I honestly didn't know you guys lived together. Yeah. Your secret. He's my my roomie. Dude, that's awesome. (laughs) Probably probably made it probably made it super easy. You didn't have to spend all the money on all the gear and stuff. You can just kind of like be like, hey. (gasps) Yeah. Using that pressure pot. Good. Does that mean you have the kitty cat in your house? (gasps) Yeah. Chumpy. Chumpy here. Jumpy's probably outside that door right there. Oh my gosh, I love that cat. So now I'm, I'm yeah, now just cute. only gonna stare at the door, like and see if I see. <laughs> can just waiting. <laughs> yeah. So if you didn't know, my roommate has a little Munchkin cat named Chumpy. Uh, she's like a like I think like six months old. She's adorable. She likes to talk. She's very talkative. But yeah, so I owe it to Sledge. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah, he posts like pictures of her when he's like announces like the raffles closed and stuff. <laughs> Same with um, Sodi Caps does that too, and I'm like, I'll take oh, the mochi. cat consolation prize. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mochi is also cute. Makes you feel a little the bit less cat. bad about yeah. losing. <laughs> <laughs> you get the little furry baby to look at helps. instead. Helps you take that out just a little easier. <laughs> Yeah. Apparently, there's too much talk about cats and my dog's getting pup set. Oh, he's pissed. <laughs> he's pissed. He's How dare you? <laughs> he is quite angry right now. What are you barking at, dude? He's just anyway, he's just <laughs> he borks to hear himself bork. Uh, and then, hey. dude, how did you start accumulating? Accumulating. Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, I'm trying to remember. So. I got into the hobby kind of like building like little DIY keyboard kits. And then my main point of contact with the hobby was RMK. And I think somehow I found Mech Market, but that was kind of where I first found Artisans was through Mech Market. And the first ones I ever got were the S-Craft Pokemon keycaps, their first round, because I'm addicted to Pokemon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and um through that i also found a uh, cyo caps and i started following him on instagram that was back when he had instagram <laughs> and that's how i found you guys was through um like cyo and instagram was because you guys did the quarantine on deck or whatever last year 
and um i really enjoyed listening to like the the art process or whatever and that's how my addiction began and, I, and here and, you are on the second <laughs> iteration ish of me- the, the that's crazy the, right like, quarantine like, on deck a part two electric boogaloo <laughs> so, um, yeah. i feel like back then that was when my username was that was before I changed my username to Keep Noob, which I changed during the 24 hour stream. <laughs> yeah, you were just uh Elevision. Did you, you change it like mid stream, right? Like Yeah, because it was like it was actually like my full name <laughs> before. And then like you guys kept saying my name on stream because we were like playing Marvels, and I was like, I should probably change that. <laughs> <laughs> So we do have a treat the puppers. Uh, what does that mean? So, which that means, hold on. I don't know where my going? cat puppy is. There he is. Oh, she's rolling around outside. <laughs> oh. <sighs> the Howie cam. The puppers. Yes. Howie. Oh, Howard. How are you? Hey, it's up here. He's a little marshmallow boy. <laughs> Take it, bud. Take it. Aww. He's like, mmm, good. <laughs> Aww, they're Take so it. cute. I get rewarded for borking, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> you want it? He said? He's like, I should just keep on Aww, barking. Aww, he's a good boy. <laughs> yes, a good boy. <laughs> All right. Yeah, when he's outside, otherwise I'd give I her a up, treat. Dad, <laughs> I woke up and now you're force feeding me treats. <laughs> what the heck? There you go. <laughs> and that was from Delafin. He just looked at me like, "You, what the fuck am I supposed to do with that information?" <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't speak English. <laughs> So, um, but, uh, that's, I mean, that's awesome to hear that, you know, like it's the Osiris and I got in very similar and like keyboards, like I got, uh, our other friend got me into PC gaming and then we were playing a bunch and Eric was like, I, I, I'd like to play with you guys (laughs) and buy buy a PC. So I got a PC and we're like, yeah, you you know, just should get a mechanical keyboard. And then Eric was like, I'm going to start building them. I was like, you're crazy. Have fun with that hobby. <laughs> here we are. Three years here we are. And Four here you are. Now. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so, but yeah, it's 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 cool to hear. So, have you guys done like official collabs or anything? Uh, we did one collab. Like, I would think it was my third sculpt. Maybe I did the rune clack, then the few rune like in caps, and I believe like one other thing, and then. We did like a Gears of War kind of like the the omen from Gears of War, like the logo, the little skull with the uh, cog wheel around it. Uh, he did the skull and I made the little cog wheel part of it. I didn't do too many runs of it, but yeah, that was like our that's like a, one of the official collabs we've done. Definitely talking about doing something like uh, in the future, but I personally am not on his level of sculpting, so <laughs> it'd be a while till until I think we do something like that. Well, it's cool that you get you have someone there to like kind of like strive to beat, right? It's like a little friendly competition. Yeah, yeah. I think I think that's a good way to put it for sure. <laughs> now he he's just impressively good at sculpting. Like he he can make something in like uh like a day and like, you know, it take me like months maybe to even get halfway <laughs> done. <laughs> well, it's cool cuz was... we we talked a lot last week about how um yeah. like getting started in artisans is like fairly difficult in terms of like learning the techniques and stuff. So it's cool that you have someone that you can literally just be like, how do I do this? <laughs> and he's just like, yeah, here, do it like this. And you can just like either watch him. Or he can like show you step by step on how to, to improve the process. And yeah. And like it. you said earlier with like the pressure pot and all that, um, like I didn't have to, you know, front the initial like money to get the compressor, the supplies, the, the pot and all that. I just kind of, you know, borrowed his stuff and paid him back or whatever. But yeah, I mean, it was a lot easier than being like, okay, and now I have to order a pressure pot and a <laughs> compressor and all this stuff. And then I just have to sit here in my room and figure it out. So it yeah, was definitely that's been, easy. 
that's like kind of what's held me back from like making my own artisans because like I do have like an art background and like sculpting and stuff so the sculpt part is easier for me but I am super afraid of a pressure pot like <laughs> we were talking about it earlier I was like I like I ideally in my because also I'm very lazy is <laughs> ideally I would just give my sculpt to somebody and be like please cast for me thank you <laughs> please make yeah it is. it's How? like there's a lot of um it's a lot of process because it seems like you you have to make the molds and then you cast masters and you do all that other crap but yeah it's interesting definitely a process but i wouldn't i would uh i would get used to the pressure pot because there's nothing to be afraid of it's not gonna <laughs> blow up i don't you don't even know me, though. <laughs> like, I think, what was it? Uh, bad, bad chat was... Bad, bad chat. He was talking about using, like, an instant pot, like, rigging it up to to use that, and, like... Oh, what? Doing, like, real yeah. sketchy stuff. Don't do that. I'm excited wow. I'm excited to hear that story again next I'm week. I'm uh, the instant pot, too, man. Like, when it releases <laughs> the pressure, I'm like, <laughs> like, running away. <laughs> Wait, he actually tried it, is what you're saying? Like, it, it was I don't remember the... Guy. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember the full. St- we'll hear the story next week. So if you want to hear a fun story about Bad Chad trying to kill himself and <laughs> blow, up, blow up half of his house, um, I don't remember exactly what it was. But yeah, it was like uh, he like rigged up the instant pot to go go harder than it actually does, or something. Like that. Oh wow! <laughs> so very dangerous. Um, yeah, just spend spend the money and buy one that's safe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, um, one thing I do want to ask as well is what what was was what was the cap that uh, where you you know because I'm sure you made a few and you're like oh this is great this is cool like it's working I've got something usable and then what was the one where the first one where you were like I'm fucking this is great I'm so fucking proud of myself for doing this like what um, was that I think that would be like the new the newer the newer uh, runes that I encapsulated in the cherry blanks because. That was something I did as my second, I think my second like sculpt ever. And quite honestly, if any of you own them, I'm sorry. They're they're awful. I apologize. They were they were like not good. But the new ones, I love them. So for me, it's like it was a like personal battle to come back and actually tackle something that I wanted to make uh, like actually nice. And so I think that would be the one sculpt that was really like, OK, I nailed it because encapsulation is kind of a pain in the butt. Yeah. Are those ones based off of RuneScape? Yeah, they're actually runes from the game. Like the you cast like magic spells in that game using them. And so, yeah, they're like the, they're pretty much the exact same shape. Like yeah, one to one I, usually. I thought I recognized them because I used to play RuneScape like a long time <laughs> ago. And I was like, those look really familiar. <laughs> Yeah, was, it's a big nostalgia thing. That was before the before time. That was the way back times. Yeah, I was like, that was probably like early 2000s. <laughs> when, was like, internet, when Internet, when Norton and Internet Explorer. Oh, dude. <laughs> uh, yeah. AIM Instant Messenger. A, yeah, dude. AIM, dude. Yeah, wow. Can we just, yeah, can we all just agree that like Discord has just perfected AIM? Like we were all is, on AIM, is. and then we all moved to cell phones, and then we we're all like, "Let's go back to AIM," <laughs> but now it's just reskinned as Discord. Anyway, um, <laughs> but, <laughs> but um, yeah, it, it's it's very cool to see the process. So, what's uh, when you say like encapsulated? Like, describe what that means. And okay, so what the process. Oh, sorry, uh, I I generally take like a small. So with the runes, I was like a small clay circle. And then I would just etch the uh, the rune design into the clay. Then I'm molding that uh, and putting that on a base and then molding that again to have like some sort of a, a way to actually have the cap sit like nicely, because if you just set it in there, it can be like, you know, it can move around a bit. So I like to put it on the actual stem itself so that way it can't go anywhere. But essentially, the process is just taking that and then uh, I, I fill them up. I do the color of the runes after. So I have the clay and then I do like the red or the blue after. And then I just fill up a whole blank with clear and plop those bad boys in there. 
and let them sit and that's pretty much the whole process i mean there's a little bit of finagling here and there like i like to heat up the resin a little bit uh to get the bubbles out if if it's not curing correctly or pour a little bit of the resin on top of it but yeah that's pretty much the process i was wondering how you kept it like centered like because otherwise it kind of like it could float around right inside the yeah, it's actually like onto the stem. So I like have a butt and then the actual rune separately. And then I like fill the rune, put the butt on. And when you pull it out, the oh, rune's actually right. still attached to the stem. Which is a handy trick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can imagine. It sounds every time I hear I like a like a different thing about making artisans that I didn't know before, I'm like, I how do you even think of like that process like how is how are you like oh if i did this this and this then i get the cap and i can encapsulate this like it's just it's nuts yeah it's it's fun it's experimentation <laughs> at its finest i just i don't know if i could personally work on something that small i would have a hard time like so i got big i got big sausage fingers like i my hands are not meant for working on something like that small of a reference so like props <laughs> yeah, well, thank you i appreciate it but i feel you on that i have shaky hands i got the shaky hands old people shaky hands it's a it's a curse <laughs> yeah it's funny because i started working on like creating my own artisan sculpt and they're a lot smaller than you think they are like because I look at, especially in regards to like height, like I would, I sculpted it and then I'd put like another cap next to it to see what it looked like. And it was like <laughs> way too big. So it's, it's definitely takes a lot of like finesse, I feel like. Yeah, I think clearing clearance issues is like the main, uh, the main problem people will run into with their first sculpt. They'll, they'll get something cool that they like and then they realize, oh no, it's like, it's a giant. Like if I tried to stick this on a key, it wouldn't even fit. <laughs> I'd have to remove all the keys around it. Yeah, or it like I think runs that's like a pretty on top of it. Yeah. Or <laughs> like clearance is probably the biggest issue. Like I think, at least personally, that's my like biggest problem. Because I have these horns, so I always have to figure out how to get the horns angled right that so they don't actually hit the keyboard or hit other uh, like uh, keys. Yeah, because there have been sometimes where I'll, I'll want to like you know a lot of a lot of people like that the the column on sixty five and seventy five percent, um, you know where they'll want to stack it like the the what's the Canon Keys one Chimera, mm -hmm. where Chimera has that whole blocked off area. It's like the perfect row for artisans, but I've seen it where some artisans just don't work on top of each other. Uh, and now, granted, if they're from different makers and it's like how dare this maker not <laughs> not support this other cap i can imagine that's I mean, when you're when you're talking about millimeters making all the difference between something completely worthless and something that's amazing and usable yeah i ran yeah. into that issue putting all the artisans on the rainbow keyboard that was shown yesterday some of them I had to kind of like move things around because some would had clearance issues with each other. And I was like, dang it. <laughs> My vision. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, but I'm happy with that. It came out. So it's, not, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Are you leaving it so like that for a bit? Yeah. I think I'm going to use it kind of like a 40. So I don't t touch all of them too much, <laughs> <laughs> but I think I forget. I did have a question though, like um, for everybody. So I noticed, like, I've been trying to scale back on my artists and purchasing and entering raffles and stuff. And so it's made me have to like prioritize like what raffles I'm going to enter. And I kind of have like a system almost. <laughs> like, I, I think subconsciously I, ha I rank artisans like by certain criteria. And I didn't know if you guys have like, criteria for how you purchase artisans like if there's like if you prioritize certain sculpts over others if you enter like all of a certain scope because of like trade value i'm curious like what your guys buying process is i'll go first because mine is like yeah. very minimal um <laughs> i don't buy a lot of artisans but i have purchased 
more and more recently. Um, I've been big into the lividity caps. I love the observer. Uh, so I enter just about not every observer, but every time I'm like, that looks sick. I have something I could make that work on. Like I just got the Gleef observer, which I put on my, my Bauer and here I'll show y'all real quick. Wait, there you go. Show Ooh, y'all real quick. That matches so well. And then show yeah. chat. Um, yeah, I like, I just, I enter what I like. Um, but mainly I go for bad lucks or observers. Like that's, that's basically all I go for. Um, occasionally, like I follow a bunch of other artists and makers and occasionally I go after something, but, but I'm not, I don't know. I'm not too dead set on other things. If CYO was still running Yeti owls, which, um, he didn't want to run because of the aforementioned uh, clearance issues. Like even the one that I have had some clearance issues. Uh, but Yeti Owl was like the f- original artisan that I saw where I was like, that's fucking sick. <laughs> but uh, I, I got like the last Yeti Owl that was like ever made, which is the, uh, the Mechs on deck, on deck one, which is <laughs> yeah, pretty, yeah. pretty freaking cool looking. That's what looks like. And then chat. I just recently got one. Of I love those. that sculpt. So, yeah. Um, with me, I, I, Ambassador is probably my, I'd say my favorite. Um, I've got a bunch of them. You know, of course, I've got the, the mechs on deck one. Um, this is my, my humble collection. My wife has, this is my wife and I's collection. She's got a bunch on her macro pad plus some boards. Um, I think colorway is the, like, now I will, some caps just are great by themselves. I think some caps I, I love, like my favorite artisan to date and kind of a grail. And I'm sorry, lightning, because I can't get rid of it. I know he wants it is the, this is the tiny, uh, it's tiny and prime caps did a lerve. And it's just, it's like, it's my favorite colors. It's got, it's like seafoam green, uh, like a teal seafoam green with some yellow and pink in there. And it's great. Some colorways just look great. And I'm like, I want that. That's how I approach observers. I love observers. And I know I would just enter every single one, (laughs) but oftentimes it's usually like, you know, it, will it work on a board with something? Um, so I really like the golden boy. Like I've, I've been like that. That's not a, a shill or anything. Honestly, the I love the, like the cheek, (laughs) The smirk. <laughs> like I've got four now. I'm like, oh fuck, all right. We're starting a collection of, of golden boys. Um yeah. <laughs> so you know, I, I think the ones that I primarily look at are Hellbents. I dream of owning more Sodi caps. <laughs> uh, and I really like the observers. Uh I've got the album boomins are cool, but I will, I typically will go like specifically for ones that like, you know, I want, you know, I don't, my wife goes for artisans way more than I do. We actually just found her grail artisan the other day. They they finally, it was the dwarf factory fluffy unicorn. (laughs) And while that might not be like a grail in the artisan community, it was one that we've literally been looking for for over a year. Um, (laughs) And so excited to get that in the mail. But um, no, I think colorway is probably the most important. If it doesn't, I, you know, I've got a lot of bears, but I like all of the bears that I have. Um, but if it's, you know, if it looks, I like if it's gray, black, white, kind of the monotone, or maybe just that with a splash of color. I like those because I can throw that on like this board or something and just do something fun with that. So. And then uh, for me, I I'm pretty picky with artisans, so I I don't enter a ton of a ton of raffles, but I think it's pretty much just I I just like I have this thing where it's like if I want it I want it that's it it's just like oh cool colorway cool cool sculpt whatever I'll enter and that's pretty much like how I judge it just like go on a whim you know eh. like I don't really collect specific sculpts although I do like a lot. Uh, like specific ones more than others, but primarily it's just like, oh, that's a sick colorway. I'm in. 
Yeah, I, I kind of have like, there's like three or four sculpts that I kind of collect. So if, if ever I see them, I'll enter the raffle immediately. <laughs> but then like, other than that, it's more like, um, if I like the colorway, or if it's a colorway that matches a keycap set that I have, then I'll enter those immediately. But I think like since I've been like kind of scaling back, I kind of like prioritize ones that I'm like collecting, and then like ones that I know that like the probability is very low that I'll win it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll enter those because then like if I do win and it's a color I don't like, then I can always trade it. But yeah, it's it's interesting. The artisan world too is like tr- selling artisans is almost like it's more common to trade them than to sell them outright. Yeah, which I found really interesting. Because um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I like uh, I don't I, mean, I don't typically like I, Ella and I, <laughs> Keep Noob and I were like that was the first like big trade that we did. Uh, <laughs> relatively, we haven't completed the trade yet. Um, yeah. I just got but, the last part of the training. <laughs> there it is. But, um, but it was, you know, it's kind of a, uh, you know, it, I don't, a lot of them are also like, we're, I'm very, Cyrus and I are very fortunate. We've received a lot of caps as gifts. Um, so like never going to get rid of those because those are, uh, we're very, like people put, like it, it, it takes a lot of time and effort to make artisans and, even even if you go, oh, I can knock out this sculpt, this this cap in a day. I'm like, yeah, but it took you a long time or a lot of effort uh, to be as good at sculpting as you are, or put in the time of. Even if you're if you're not that good at sculpting, that means you probably put even more time and effort <laughs> into making something really really good. So, um, you know, I, I I appreciate those, but. Um, no, I, I'm kind of at this point. I kind of live vicariously through my wife and Keeb Noob of the, <laughs> the artisan victories. So I like sixty percent, and sixty percent. You know, this one's great because it it's just perfect. It matches the mod colors and everything. And this wasn't even a Mizu cap. This just matches one of my favorite pairs of Jordan oh, that's ones. Perfect. That's um, what I got on mine right now for the squid. Yeah, it, like so, like. That works because you've got the colors to match the, yeah. the caps. But on a 60%, it's a lot harder to make it work. Where once you get to 65, 75, TKL, full size. Like I used to put all my bears on my Austin and it looked awesome. So. Yeah. Yeah. I don't ever think of like trade value. But I guess it's because I'm like, I also don't really sell anything. Like I still have all of like my old keyboards. I think I've sold one keyboard since I can, I can think of one. I can think of one that you've sold. Like I don't, I've, I have like a hard time letting go of, of things like that. Um, I have like, I still have all my guitars. Chewy used to, or Dave used to get guitars and let them go willy nilly. Um, in and out. I love you. I hate you now. Yeah. I just, I don't know. I have a, I can't let them go. So that's yeah. that's my thing. I, I was like, I've recently <laughs> started getting more into like trading since like, because then you're still getting like something new, but mm-hmm. I'm not paying out of pocket for it. <laughs> well, that's that's what we do with like keyboards and shoes and camera gear. It's just yeah. like that's what I do. At least it's like, oh, I want something new with cameras. All right, I'll let go of this keyboard, and then like, oh, I want this. Okay, I'll let go of this. Like, it's because they're all just too expensive hobbies. <laughs> true <laughs> especially cameras that's you fuck man um, <laughs> lenses that's the thing you don't think of you're like you see the price of a body and you're like that's kind of like, expensive I, but that's not that bad when you consider how much that. use i'm gonna get and then you're like oh yeah it's also gonna be like more than the <laughs> more than the body for a lens that's actually <laughs> really good like that's cute and that's I'm just kidding. the lens and then there's so much more and then you want two lenses yeah, you know? and you're like, well, now i gotta get this lens but then I also got to have this lens. And then, and then you're like, have you looked at tripods? You're like, yeah. Tripods? <laughs> and you're like, oh, I could spend $1,000 on a tripod. It's like, what? But then you can do this. Really? You can go. I haven't looked at, like... <laughs> feels so good. <laughs> yeah, dude, Ozzy Obsessions, he knows. He knows. Oh, yeah, Ozzy. He's the expert. 
Yeah, he's the he's photo, nuts. like, he's the photo queen. The photo man. <laughs> I yeah. tried to channel his energy when I was taking pictures the other day. <laughs> and I got my, like, piece of, you know, because a lot of his shots, he has, like, a reflective surface. So I, like, really cleaned off my desk. And I put a piece of, like, uh, like poster board behind it. And I was like, look, I'm Ozzy. <laughs> <laughs> Strive to be Ozzy. I'm That's trying to. True, Ozzy. I did channel your energy in my picture one. <laughs> yeah, true. I feel like I have some sculpts that like I would love to have, and that I do enter occasionally. Like a lot of the wild story stuff. Like I really mm-hmm. like their caps, but I basically will never win them. <laughs> um. So I another one is Latriolum. I've entered a bunch of hers and never won. Um, I almost like scammed the channel. She sent this was when we first started. She this was sent like six months ago or six months in. Yeah, this was this was when we first started like streaming. She sent some caps to us to give away, and mm. I I had them and they fit perfectly with my Hyperfuse Origins set. And I was like, she she even messaged me. She was like, you can keep them if you want. And I was like. <laughs> I feel really bad if I do that. You sent them to us for a giveaway. <laughs> so, and we gave them away, and I've yet to win a, a Latrial raffle <laughs> since. So yeah, Ooh, I, 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 can't say this, I can't say the same thing. I fun. He, yeah, I, I know. Your, I was like, here you go. Know, sitting with his lats. I know he's got them. Uh, here's yeah. the. I'll, I'll show off. Now we got some heck keys on here, but we also got. This is my wife's macro pad that was built upside down by yours truly. Um, <laughs> but we got. So my wife and I both won these. That's a lit these, cat. these cats. Those are these awesome. Are, yeah, these are these are insane. What so, what was, uh, colorway is that? Uh, God, I don't remember. Tarus like, and I think confetti. I think it was just called like confetti. confetti. Yeah. Um, I've won lats twice. I traded one of them. Well, I'm trading both of them actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny because I have. Chewy knows this, but I win a disproportionate number of artisan raffles, which is the other part of my Good hoarding. R&D. Is because I win a lot of them, and so it's a <laughs> blessing and a curse. I love it. <laughs> I love it. But um, so do you have anything new coming up the works? Are you working on a new sculpt or anything? Uh, right now. I, okay, so I was in the process of making another helmet from RuneScape, and then I smushed the sculpt in my car while I was going home to my parents. So that sucks, and it's been like a month or two since I've even just like thought about trying to pick it back up. But um, yeah, I got some new runes coming, and definitely like a new sculpt that's like not related to RuneScape at all, just like my own thing. I got a 3D printer recently, so I think Endgame will be making something with that too. And like, I don't know, little in caps, like um, little swords or things. I don't know. I, I have to figure it out, but the 3D printer is pretty cool. So I, I plan on doing something something with that, maybe like a, like a sculpt even. But yeah, nothing entirely like new coming, but definitely within a few months, I'll have something. Hell yeah. Yeah. I like the saying. idea of of using both right of yeah both, of yeah and like last last week we talked it was all by hand and all by uh 3d not all by 3d printing but for the most part 3d printing and you're like let's just do both <laughs> well like i said i have shaky hands so i'm like I, I, I honestly am not that good at sculpting it takes me forever so 3d printing would be like a dream come true if i could get really good at it but 3d sculpting's equally as hard and just another challenge to conquer as well. So we'll see how that goes. But that's cool <laughs> to have, like, to be able to mesh the two in some sense, like even to like flesh, flesh out ideas and try something um, in one medium and take it to the other. Um, that's like a, it's like a cool way to, to kind of bridge the gap because I know one of the questions that was asked last week on the stream was what are the thoughts of like, people who use 3d printing rather than hand sculpting uh-huh. and i'm sure it's probably looked on by some people as like a negative thing to use it um so i, I which i think is complete bullshit i think you should be able to do whatever you want it's art. I, I i'm with you on that one 
It's like whatever whatever the end result is, you know. As long as it's cool at the end, it doesn't matter how they got there. As long as it's not like stolen art, right? But that's a whole another topic, I guess. <laughs> 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 yeah, and, and well, that and it's you can um, you can, guess what? All you have to do is not buy them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, like no one's forcing you to make these. So we have a question from CF Kaner. Are there SpongeBob artisans out there? I believe there are. A lot of times, what people will do um, is like this is very common with Pikachu is they'll make their own sculpt and kind of colorize it in the same way. Which, by the way, Hellbent, you're welcome for this idea. A Golden Boy SpongeBob would be amazing. Because you've already yeah, got the eyes. <laughs> yeah, and you got Pad, you can do Pad, you always, and you can do like, you can do whenever he's, uh, the episode, whenever he's got the, the sideburns, because he's got the cool hair, and he puts on the sideburns. Just, there it is, Hellbent, oh. you're welcome. There's one artist in, in particular I know does a SpongeBob sculpt called MM Caps. Um, I put the link in chat, but they do like like a half, like a they call it dissected SpongeBob, or like half the face will be one color and half will be the other color. Those are pretty cool. Yeah, I feel like I've seen. Like I've seen like seen that. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, you're good. I was gonna say that's I think the only one I could think of that's actually like, uh, like a. Sp- like an actual model of SpongeBob. Yeah, I'm trying to think, I would, I would think the collabs for um, GMK Star maybe. Yeah, because uh, it's based off Patrick Star. Is that I'm happening? One hundred percent. I think so. They, I mean, I don't remember. I mean, happened. you can just take the pink and green and run it and call it Star. Um, <laughs> Nintendo, but Nintendo, Nickelodeon doesn't own. <laughs> Nintendo doesn't own either, but Nintendo doesn't own Pinky Green. Yeah, um, <laughs> Kona, Kona ran it, and the group I just finished, I think. Okay, there it is. Well, and I love I love when you can add in like flavors, right? Like so that you call it the Doohickeys caps that did the Adventure Time caps. We know Tiny has done a Bemo cap. Uh, little guest appearance by Winnie. I love it. Uh, I saw some Sean the Sheep caps Aww. the other day. Oh yeah. Were- Horrible. Um, Say hello to Mexon Dick. Can Winnie get listed off. as a um, guest on Mexon <laughs> Dick? <laughs> Check out. Does she have an Instagram? Prize guest. Does not have an Instagram. I've actually had several people ask me to make her an Instagram, but I have too many Instagrams. <laughs> <laughs> How else are you gonna enter in all those artisan raffles? <laughs> oh, only purse. Only purse from Dibble Day. <laughs> only purse. I love it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it. But no, I love when, you know, because I I, mean, I know there was there was a little drama, but not really drama, because it definitely had a, a happy ending with the uh the Pokemon caps because you know they sold them and they're like, maybe we don't, you know, maybe it's a little uh IP infringing, but then they got like the actual rights to sell them. Yeah, it's it's kind of like iffy on that one because then they said like that they got the licensing, but the Nintendo's designs were too simple, so they're just gonna do whatever they want. And <laughs> when he's trying to eat my pizza crust, <laughs> girl, Love it. yeah. And then there's a lot of uh, Adventure Time caps. Um, I- yeah. Uh, not much time. Uh, sorry, Animal Crossing. Caps. Yeah, I I don't necessarily yeah. always like the ones that are very like literally like snatched from IP, with the exception of the Pokemon ones because I like. This. <laughs> but um, I do like to see in the artisan community how people like interpret IP into colorways and stuff. It's really creative. I think the best way is the Doohickeys Adventure Time. Yeah, I think that's the best it's, iteration. Yeah, of- I agree taking inspiration and making it your own so yeah i think uh crap crap shop did a good job too of doing like a sally and jack skellington um copycats so this Ooh, is jack yeah, that's one. sick I love and then it. this is the um sally one Ooh, that's so sweet Those are ones are beautiful. so i thought these were a good um example too of like 
you, you don't have to be so literal. Mm-hmm. How so, but well, um, chat. If you guys have any questions uh, for Frumskis or our awesome moderator and uh, local artisan <laughs> addict, uh, please <laughs> ask away at Mexon Deck. I'm gonna do a quick runner of the awesome sponsors that sponsor this stream. Uh, we've got OmniType, who's selling GMK Blurple right now. So if you want a very cool, bl- if, if you want, it's like the penultimate, right? People love blue and purple. So why not just make Blurple? I love it. Um, let's, you can go check that out there, mexondeck.omnitype.com. Project keyboards, you can go to mexondeck.project.link. We have uh, DCS Delftware with some very cool uh, sub legends on that so if you want something very cool they also have a lot of uh they will often have their sets that have already run and pre-order so if you missed think you missed out on one double check the website uh we also have this back up too in polycarb as well Ooh, polycarb serious there it is uh next up we've got canon keys so you can go to canonkeys.com slash mexon deck gmk fuji wrapping up soon so don't be or don't Miss out on that one. Uh, PBT Honeywell Bold still out there. Dark Amber switches. Uh, some awesome, awesome switches uh, out there as well. And then Kinetic Labs dot store slash Mexon Deck. Uh, they've got they've got keycap sets. They've got uh, they've got switches. They've got lube. They've got all your supplies that you would need to get started in the hobby. Go check them out. Eric, hit us with some partners. Got some partners that help us run the stream as well. That's Zap Cables. Head on over to zapcables.com. Pick yourself up a custom cable kit. You can build it yourself. We got a video that's super outdated, but you know what? It'll still get you to a finished product. And then Type Beast, go to typebea.st. Sign up for the newsletter. They're dropping them every few weeks. Um, Smith and Rune, go to smithrune.com. The Iron 165 Polycarb Edition, Smoky, is coming soon. So you want to stay up to date to that. And you can get dripped up head to toe in smith and rune merch over there and then 3d keeps go to 3d keeps.com baka 60 polycarb just wrapped up but you can still head on over there get some uh dbz lube actually i think it was out of stock the other day hopefully they'll have it up again soon because that stuff is great but they do have the boba switches um in black which is a new option um as well as some big ass mouse pads which is my favorite name for mouse pads in the community <laughs> so check them out uh I think the Dragon Ball Z loop is back in stock. <laughs> yeah, I just I just opened it up uh, and it is. Yeah, because it was out. I was looking at it over the weekend and it was out. So it's back up. Is. Get yourself some. I think it's she good. was she was moving like to her new warehouse. So yeah. I imagine she just stopped for a minute. Uh, we do have one question from Hellbent. When is the Frumps X? Is this Sage? I think Sage. Sage. Okay. X Pahagi. <laughs> 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 yeah it's pahagi that's what it is i'm pretty sure no uh soon tm uh i am lagging extremely hard on sending him uh some some bepis prints so we can encap some bepis uh so that's on me i'm i'm lagging real hard but soon tm like minimum a month prob oh, yeah. <laughs> there it is <laughs> <laughs> are, there, uh, are there any other games that you're looking to start doing artisans for like artisans um, are inspired by not really like you guys were saying like uh, about the whole ip thing like i i enjoy that i'm able to take things from runescape and you know work with them and make them into key uh key caps and do all that but personally i would love to just have like my own designs so i think honestly probably not i think the future will be just like making my own stuff but you never know 3d printing and all that i might just do some some runs with certain other games but if i were to choose something it would probably be like a helmet from world of warcraft or something another good nostalgia game a classic classic (laughs) classic man so well um you've brought you've brought us something today something to share with the class that i will pull up uh which again guys check out let's hit let's see if i can type this correctly you can check out Frumskis at frumskis.com hove 201 what's up 
Uh, so what did what you brought something to share with our awesome community at yeah. Next Talk Tech? Now, unfortunately, my webcam is horrible, but um, I brought a Miami themed rune clock to give away to your community. It's uh, just, yeah, I have terrible lighting in here, so I apologize. But maybe there's a there is a photo on my actual website if you want to get a better look. But it's just uh, like a pink and teal cap. And so, yeah, this is what I'm going to be giving away. Coming today. in one of those, those new boxes. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be not in a bubble mailer. So you'll actually receive it with the horns intact, hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, in a, in a real box with a stamp on it. It's going to be official. Hey, I like it. Got, you have cards, too. Yeah, I, I actually have my people. same authentication cards I've had forever. Like I made them in Adobe Illustrator, like. I think a year and a half ago, and I've just stuck with them. Hey, Print them myself. <laughs> it works. Just keep rolling. Keep rolling. Keep on ro Speaking of rolling. Ooh. Ayo. Ayo. <laughs> Look at that segue. <laughs> <laughs> Smooth transition. <laughs> Wait, why did it not? Okay. We're, we're updating the rolling application here in a second. Uh. <laughs> It did that. So, but, it did that thing where it's like, "Hey, I'm gonna update at this point," like, and then it uh, doesn't actually update. Um, rollers on stream. Rollers on stream. Rollers. <laughs> but we can, can we can show off uh, what was gonna be. That's yeah. What's the also, yeah the new one? We, so we are we are we're giving away two caps. We'll be rolling two different marbles games. So you want to show off the, what, the it's, picture? It's of this. It's tiny. There we go. <laughs> I think it's because I put it in the same uh, photo that I had cropped for uh, the photo that f uh, Frank had sent me last week. And it, oh. his was like <laughs> gigantic, <laughs> massive. Um, I think I was like sitting on Winnie. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, this little guy. Thanks to uh, Terabyte Caps. Unfortunately, she couldn't join us tonight. So cute. Um, yep. And in this way as well. OG Penny. Yep, an OG colorway penny. So a little, little jamming out. Maybe it's uh, see. I I only I apparently they're earmuffs. I only see headphones. But <laughs> I think it was like because her first like sales were around Christmas time. Uh, so it was like that one, and then she had one. It was like a little reindeer. I forget the name off the top of my head. Penguins do gotta stay warm, Taru. I see headphones too, though. Yeah, right. Like I just no, I like I see that, and I'm like, all I want is like that animated and doing the the chilled cow, like just <laughs> like a penguin just sitting there like jamming out. Dave, what boards are on the pegboard? What board is on the pegboard? I have an outdated <laughs> SM60. I call it the SM60. It's just a 60% by SM keyboards with GMK nines on it. This has 89 gram creams with that old Mexon deck logo. It's vintage now. Um, so uh, <laughs> I use this at work sometimes, but uh, at this point now, it's kind of more of a showpiece. I pull it out from time to time, though. It's a, it's a fun type. Um, and then this is my Key Colt 160 with Ursa on it. Um, so it's got Zykos in it. Brass is patining real nice. So. Brass is beautiful. Dude, brass is beautiful. Brass is in fact beautiful. What's the bottom of your bower looking like? Um, it's not too bad. It's not patinaed very much at all, actually. Mm. Just a yeah, little bit. Really, only, really like one spot. Like right yeah. there. Like right Which is there. probably where like you... I imagine like where you pick it up or something. Yeah. Yeah. And we could all show off what's what's on the desk. I showed this off. I mean, I showed this off like 10 minutes ago, but there's that what's in your you're rocking the bower, I imagine, since. Yeah. Rocking the bower. I put that lividity cap on it and I was like, hmm, this is staying. <laughs> Look at all these nice keyboards. Uh, Alice. Ooh. It's got the $90 and pro. With Hell the yeah, Menlo, Menlo from the last Blue Raz, my first ever nightcaps win. Oh yeah, so, Menlo's so cute. 
I love that school. When the so artisan, cute. when the artisan is more expensive than the board, <laughs> it is. It, it actually is. That's crazy. Like, that's, yeah, that's wild. <laughs> it's crazy seeing some, especially some of the like more sought after caps. People will be like, "I'll trade you this board for that one artisan." <laughs> I'm like, Dang. If I do this, is this gonna mess Hard up some of the Z caps? That is gonna mess up the stream. So, what if I turn my camera off? <laughs> Nope, that doesn't work. <laughs> Whoops. Stop stream. Oh. <laughs> Wait. I think you need to shut down the stream, what you're streaming to us. Well, no, no, no. And I knew that. I was trying to make it to where I could let y'all see the marbles <laughs> rather than just watching it on stream. Well, but couldn't you just change out your video now? No, because it, when uh, you did it earlier, it was because there were still five things on. What? Like oh, or, sorry, o- OBS I... <laughs> OBS virtual cam. Oh, like in place of the uh, webcam. Yeah, oh, that's, what, that's what I'm using. I can do that. You're right, Dave. That... You're smarter than I am. Shit, not an OBS. I IQ dude. plays on. over here. Right. He's a gamer. We're gonna get this set up. Yeah. We'll we'll let him start. Let him start voting real quick. Uh, it's this one. All right. Come on. <laughs> All right, now I got to be tabbed into to this for a Boom, second. Boom, we got there. All right. Oh, yeah. So we've got this. So you can start voting for it. your show your balls. Damn it. Here. Oh. So. <laughs> I was like, wait. Yeah. <laughs> Click, clip it, clip it. Uh, Get him. So this, uh, uh, this is this first one. We're going to be going for the, the penny the, in the OG colorway by terabyte so uh that's that's what is up for grabs uh for this first one so and 69 is not an eligible map so please <laughs> do not vote for 69 <laughs> <laughs> that's like all the votes so far he's just made oh. it a thing for our chat now so. I feel like there is a 69 community map, but I don't remember which. There one is. It. I don't know what it is, but it should just be like literally just like drop. <laughs> yeah. Done. Like just <laughs> completely. It's it's all based on where you land, like when yeah. you hit, hit play. So. Yeah. I should try making a map sometime. I don't think I've ever done that before. Ooh, making a map. Yeah. <gasps> Mechlon deck put, like, map. Ooh. Yeah, I wonder if you could actually put like a 3D modeled like keyboard in a section so it has yeah. to like yeah. bump over all the keys. But that you could also sick. do like the Mechlon just, deck like, logo yeah, where you'd have to like too. go <laughs> all the way through and then like I need to look at our logo now. <laughs> what does our logo look like? Oh, the new know. one. The new one would be cool. Because the new it, one would be super because you could go through the K and then like drop off into the bottom of the M. Guys, and then like up. Oh, this needs to happen the now. The keyboard shop. You could run around the keyboard shop because oh Janelle shit, three D model. That would be crazy. <laughs> right. Pinging gently, queen. <laughs> gently, queen. Are you gently, queen? Now exclamation point play to be entered to win a penny artisan by terabyte caps in the og colorway so again thank you terabyte for providing the cap for us i know that you had work come up uh so but just the fact that you're still like yeah dude let's still i know i was like like, all right sweet let's do this oh so i'm looking like a ghost again there you go that's what happens with my bad lighting me too <laughs> my ghost <laughs> I, uh, I think part of the issue is when i start streaming typically the light is still coming through my window just, just and then there. later in the oh look at that <laughs> knock it out we can just go dark <laughs> oh, oh, oh. wait just... what will it look like if i turn it all the way off Ooh, frame wow. rate wow. like this from that now actually on actually looks hey. pretty solid when you're like for like game streams yeah we don't there need to go. see the keyboard just oh, this this is how like this is how dark it is normally granted this is shooting at 160 fps or uh one one sixtieth of a second that'd be a lot um so yeah <laughs> that'd be slow motion dark chewy all dark right chewy. 
<laughs> She's like, turn off the lights. She's like, I can finally oh, see. Yeah, Ellie, your background looks crazy now. It actually know, looks right? aesthetic. It's like one of those <laughs> lo-fi hip-hop like YouTube channels. Dude, yes. This is my new gamer mode, you guys. Follow my follow my stream to see my. I just need a cat cam. Dave, did you just turn your camera off? I'm working on that. <laughs> I need to get uh the Winnie cam. It's working. the ultimate dark Chewy, just completely black screen. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Chewy looks connect. so much better. The Rick. All right, <laughs> exclamation point play to be entered to win the cap from Terabyte Caps. We're gonna be rolling it here in just a second. Hey Chewy, you want to come back? Hey. You know, you can talk. Dave, what are those lights, L? Oh, <laughs> oh. Um, these lights are. I got them off Amazon. It was like twenty bucks for They're the two. Sick. The two. Really? Lights. Yeah, I can. I can send them. you. Link. Kind of copy those. They're yeah, send me the like, link. I'd love it. Yeah, they're supposed to be like floodlights for <laughs> something outdoors, and I was like, I'm gonna just put it in my room. <laughs> Dark Chewy's back. What's up? <laughs> With the fit. <laughs> All right, let's just run this race. All right, can we get a, a commentary of the race by Dark Chewy? Absolutely. All right. Wh who's your? Who's your your? Your uh, winner, your projection. Ravo. Ravo? Okay. Ravo. All right. Ravo, here we go. All right, so we got a bunch of balls just like dropping down, such as life, man. Just keep falling down. Hellbent <laughs> trying to win artisans when he could just make his own artisans. Like, you know, what kind yeah. of fucking shit is this? He could just make his own, but he's got to win others. It doesn't work. Like it doesn't know who's in first. Sorry. Oh, oh. Brez trying to cheat the system. Wait. Oh, the Rick. Oh, the the Rick. Rick coming in, coming in hot. Oh no, Rick! <laughs> Did this Rick start the reckoning that happened in the Discord? <laughs> I have no idea. But this was... Rick is the, this is the Rick that also started the Baca Forty. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> Oh, in truly one day. Now they had folders in this game. Oh, oh, oh. shit. The Rick is stuck. Sweet. Oh. Look at that artisan is this picture. What what is that? Oh, that's a um kamikaze from Melon Keys. Dude, that's nuts. I won one of those. Yeah, Melon Keys is crazy. Oh yeah, and their packaging is wild. It comes in like this beautiful box. With like little like straw inside, and then it's like mounted in there. It's like it's super nice. Is it? It's the straw that's like in that photo, right? Yeah, I posted on my Instagram. But yeah, I won the Metro Met Metropolis one, and my brother Ooh. had to test it, but now I might have to steal it back from him. <laughs> Dude, I think because Metro Round Two is happening right now, and so Sancho Panza was was doing great, but. You know, in life, sometimes Honey boy John. you, you take a strong boy lead, John. and then something just takes <laughs> takes it out from under you. It happens. Dude, to the in best center, place. hate just got just got killed. Apparently, it was uh, too much hate. Oh wait, gnarly! Did they just fucking ahead. skip? What? Dude, gnarly! Uh, gnarly is for you gnarly is, game lately. Hey man, the only way to beat the system is to cheat the system. <laughs> Dude. The kind of speed running strats. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm in. Charlie's a hacker. He's been watching my Ooh. stream, so he learned those hacker oh, skills. Static Age Same. coming in. <laughs> static the body. But the body oh, he's close. Is he going to win? Is he going to win? Reverberate the really? he people's elbow. Static oh. Age coming in. And Ooh, he's coming in hot, and it's not even close. I hate the control <laughs> in this game. I just want to look. <laughs> You know, Static Age, I'm not impressed. I think you could have done better. <laughs> the shade from Dark Chewy. <laughs> where, where's your pick? Where's your pick, Chewy? Let's see if we can find him. Pick? Who did you say? Ro oh, Ravo, there he is. Let's just say Chewy was wrong. Ravo did not. Chewy didn't, Chewy didn't make a decision. Dark Chewy did. Dark Chewy. <laughs> 
<laughs> now that you're just Dave, is just is Dark Chewy just Chewy? No, Chewy's the guy that ripped off Dave. Yeah. When he when Chewy made the the Squid Sixty. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, Chewy <laughs> ripped off Dave, who made the Baka Sixty, and then Dave in turn went and changed it again. It's crazy. Well, chat, as this finishes up, we're going to go again. Not on this map. On again. This again. <laughs> Congratulations, Static Age. You are the winner of... <laughs> Taru. What? Dark Chewy is responsible for the Polycarb Baka 60. Fuck it. Let's make it plastic. Let's open that plate up. <laughs> Just make rows, baby. Hey, he made what a, even are keyboards? Is Dark Chewy behind the uh, the forty percent? Yes. Yeah, one hundred percent. One hundred percent. I like, like that's not something Dave could comprehend. Ah. If there were ever a Baka sixty five, you know that's from Dark Chewy for sure. <laughs> that's too. That's even too dark for Dark Chewy. Wait, who is that? Would be dark Chewy like <laughs> that? Would be <laughs> what would be darker than Dark Chewy? Vanta Chewy. Vanta Chewy. Vanta, <laughs> Vanta Chewy. Vanta Chewy's not here. He's not coming anytime soon. Or maybe Dark Osiris took Dark Chewy down a darker hallway and knocked some sense into him. <laughs> with, with, aid, with aid by Dark Abraka Daniel. <laughs> Dark Osiris steals the Baka from Dark Chewy to make the Baka 65. <laughs> A collaboration between Dark Osiris and Dark Abraka Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, there it is. All right. I committed. I committed. I went and got my jacket out from the other room. Okay, we commit. Well, we've and got the glasses. No like, go. All right. We're giving. What are we giving away? From skis. I just got to turn my. I'll turn away a clack. One, one of these rune clacks. Hell yeah. Ayo. I literally turned the lights down, so now I'm like, oh, I can't see anything. <laughs> so exclamation point vote a number one through what is it? Fifty seven? Not sixty nine. Not sixty nine. Or four twenty. But you can do <laughs> four two. You just link me the lights, L. Yeah. Fuck. Bonkers. Yeah. <laughs> Bonkers. Bonkers. I want to click the link because my, my screen will get so bright anytime I click on a Google Chrome. <laughs> I watch this. It's like because it's like not in the dark. <laughs> Just <laughs> blows out the face. I love it. Horrible. I actually I told my camp. work that like because when I was like doing work at night. Like whenever I'd open like a new window, it would just like blast my eyeballs, and I, would, I actually suggested we A/B test doing a dark mode, <laughs> literally, so I don't have to look at that mess and get blinded at night. <laughs> it's like the people there, there, are, there are people, and then there are the just the people that use Discord light mode. Good lord, dude! <laughs> right? The in the inhumans. I had to re-download it recently on my MacBook, and it. Auto to sure, light mode, and that, I was like, that first Lord. ten seconds, I'm sure were terrible. What does it look like? <laughs> Retina. Oh burning, wow, yeah. <laughs> that's bad. It's bad. It's like when that's you get really Twitch bad. light mode. When I see someone using Twitch light mode, I'm like, what is wrong with you, dude? What are you doing? What kind of heathen are you? Um, but yeah, exclamation point play. We entered to win this rune cap. The Miami B is that? That's what it is, right? Miami B. Miami, Miami B dripping. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Miami be tripping rune cap. It looks sweet. I was looking at it. Really Miami do right. be tripping. I, uh, I like the rune cap. I never was big into RuneScape as a oh man as a young child, but I also didn't play much video games until I built a computer. Okay, you want to hear something lame? So I remember RuneScape distinctly because it was the very <laughs> first subscription i ever was able to pay for by myself because i had a job <laughs> there it is hey, that's sick and i was like oh heck yeah i can pay 10 bucks a month or whatever it was <laughs> i know there My... was some streamer that like just shit his own, own pants like he just wore diapers so he could play <laughs> runescape for longer periods of time 
Dude, poggers. That's, <laughs> that's commitment, man. Not I like RuneScape, but I'm not that committed. I recently <laughs> recovered my old RuneScape account, so I need to like start that up and check it out. <laughs> what was your name? Like Slayer nine three zero something like that? Because that's how that's how they all are. It was like Orange Girl ninety three or something <laughs> like that. Or like something. There you go. Something special. <laughs> I love it. Exclamation point play, guys. Uh, we'll probably go here in about one more minute. No, my favorite thing to do in RuneScape was to craft an obsidian great sword, or not what well, two handed sword, I think is what they actually was called. And then just see how far into the PvP forest I would go before some dude just like <laughs> to the wilderness shoots me <laughs> into the wilderness before some dude just like pops an arrow from nowhere. <laughs> it's like, and you're dead. <laughs> I love I'm like, Minecraft. Minecraft PvP is together. something totally love, on like I love, another I love, level. I love mining in that game because you'd get like the jewels. That mm. was like my favorite was crafting like jewelry. <laughs> That's so dumb. Was, was it RuneScape <laughs> no. that the like the currency, the gold, like a country you basically turned to using RuneScape gold as currency instead so. of their like because their currency I was so terrible inflation or something i don't remember if they actually used the currency but i know at some point like like people could uh, get rich like off of it. os like, that was a rs job. gold was worth more than like the venezuelan currency whatever whatever currency yeah. they used there it was worth more so you're better off like just farming gold to make money <laughs> dang that's <laughs> sad what do you do for a living i play runescape <laughs> what like yeah. of more mining, money. Dude, someone found mind. the the kid that shit his pants in RuneScape. Yeah, you did. You <laughs> did. Someone did. It was like great. Oh, yeah. I gotta look at this Grace after. Grace guy, Grace guy FB. There's not. It's like when you pull it up. It, there's nothing like it's. It's a safe for work link. I I did check it, and it's just like a Twitter post. Yeah, it's like a story. Yeah. I'm really curious to see if I have any items or anything like left in my account from way back when. Dude, you find out it was hacked by some Venezuelan. <laughs> I know, right? I got my gold. Gold. Got money. I've got money. So, All right, well, it's, so it's again wrong. for the this is for the Miami B tripping last couple seconds. There, get let's see Mick, Mick G out of works. Out of where I saw out of works in another like how this one earlier. <laughs> Dude, this one's like a, a plinko. Plinko action going. Oh, I need to hit all oh, yeah, so we can see who's there in front. Is. Do you did you have a pick this time, Chewy? Uh, let's see. I, I don't have it big right now. Ninja Pirate. I hope. In hot. I have my Ooh. hope is Ninja Pirate because he took a great picture, and without Ninja Pirate and Langlandia, I would not have gotten to the Sweet Sixteen. But that Ninja Pirate picture really did help quite a bit, especially in the Tengu fight. Um, my pick is going to be Iwanu because he's been on like a winning streak lately. <laughs> Ooh, look at Hellbent. Number six. Oh, oh, he's gone. <laughs> yeah, dude, Hellbent, just go, just go make your own artisans, man. <laughs> once, don't you know that once you become an artisan maker, you're not allowed to enter giveaways <laughs> or raffles. You're not allowed to enjoy it anymore. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> You're also not allowed to make a profit yeah, off of it. You're not allowed thing. to profit off of any any work you do in this hobby. Zero profit. <laughs> Zero profit. <laughs> better the bet the more money you lose, the better. <laughs> like I like just playing marbles. Like even if you don't win anything, it's just fun to like watch the marbles. Do you ever just play marbles? Just, <laughs> just to play marbles. Oh, yeah, just to watch the marbles go. <laughs> There's I mean, a lot I of. Should start, I should start decompressing from work by just coming home Dude, and watching Marvels. The Mon Bear just went the wrong direction on it, and is still oh. in the lead. And then still, and then makes oh. enough of a comeback. I love it. Tarusin giving oh. out five Dude. gifted tier Dude. one subs. Thank you, Taru. Damn. Hell yeah. I wish Ooh. we could make it to where he gets like a speed boost for that, but unfortunately, that doesn't work like that. And also, that would be a smart boost. Just kidding. Dude, some whale just comes <laughs> and gives like a thousand subs to win all of the, the giveaways. Everything. They're like, oh, he just I want to and it gets Whoa. sent off the map. 
Where, you can give at... them a verbal boost. Boost, boost, boost. I want to... <laughs> IP has got a crazy... Oh, 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 bears back in the lead. This is all over. This is anyone's game. It is. It is. Keep new. It's a wild one. Except Hellbent. I won't deliver. I'm not kidding. I think Mr. Sniffles is not a real ball. Oh, that's not the ghost. Oh, the ghost. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I got it. the ghost previously. Ghost ball. By the way, uh, Taru has made a uh, an amazing GIF of you. Keep oh, I think it. Okay. That's like I don't know how he has that many skills. Right. Like... The bills are paid with his skills. Whoa! Whoa. Bravo! It's your Chewy. first round prediction. Your o- your Maybe. OG prediction. My OG. Dibble Day's coming in hot. And Ooh. Bravo, you were right, but you were just one yeah. giveaway well, off. Was- uh, I was. Uh, you know, well, you were uh, right. Dark Chewy was right. You can't take yeah, credit exactly. for Dark Chewy. Yeah, exactly. No, no, no. I don't take credit at all. I already listen. I already called mine during the first twenty-four hour stream. True, true. That's a clip. I already called that. Boom. Rabbit. The blessing carried over. Yeah. yeah. Can we take a look at IP? Uh, what is it? IP ninety-nine 32's ball. He's in the. Never, he went in the shade. Come no, on, he's, dude. No, he's help, me out, help me out, bud. You got a golden and black ball. It's not even a ball. It's like a D20. I got stopped yeah, and now it's gone the other way. A die. A dodecahedron. <laughs> Come on. Come on, ball. We want to see you. It's going to be a nice reveal. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. There it is. Ah, it's a little D20. That's cute. That's sick. Whoops. What's he got on it? That would not roll. That is pretty all. cool. Why is this game so freaking like touchy? Oh, that's so cool looking. It's got like a yeah, nice little shine to it. I need that. I want a fancy Marvel's well, ball now. Ravo. You, good... you have to pay for it? Probably. Did Ravo say something about it? Yeah, she, or he, he or she did. Ravo, hit me up on Discord uh, and I will get that information over to you. Uh, it is Chewit Little in the Discord, so join the Discord if you are not already in it, uh, and just PM me, um, and we'll get that information sent over to you. Guys, I want to thank both Frumskis as well as Keeb Noob for coming on tonight for our second iteration of Artists in April. Uh, learned a lot, had a blast. Hope you guys did as well, and thank you for the giveaways. Yeah. Thank you guys for having me. Absolutely. It's our pleasure, our pleasure. And of course, go check out frumpskis.com and then keep noob at twitch.tv slash keep noob where she streams. Um any idea when the next raffle is? Can you can you give us a, a leak on that? Um definitely I wanna do some really late Easter stuff because you know I'm always I'm always like weeks late with my uh holiday raffles. So in a typical fashion we'll have something pretty soon. Hell yeah. 420 is coming so like, up. I know it's a big... Yeah, let's uh, say May, May 10th, Ooh. we're going to get those 420. Yeah, true. <laughs> Six days till that. <laughs> Absolutely. What about you, Keep Noob? What you, what you doing this week? You know, what just stream? chilling. No. <laughs> Tomorrow, uh, I'll be on stream with my sister. We do our... We call it Sister Queens stream on Thursdays. We play games. And uh, th- this week, we're going to be doing Puzzle Pint. Ooh, so we play some puzzle games and look confused and it's a good time. And then Saturday I'll be doing the, uh, I'll finally be doing the B movie typing test. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, typing out the entire script of the B movie on monkey type, what? like over 9,000 words or something. Oh my. Um, and basically we'll have some fun little things happening, but, um, I'll be also donating any money that's donated that day to a charity called the Bee Girl Organization. So they help educate people on bees and do workshops for kids. So <laughs> oh, yeah. It'll be fun. It's something weird to do. I set it up as like a community challenge for my stream. So they had to raise, I think it was like, I forget how many thousands of channel points, but they finally did it. <laughs> nice. Hell yes. So, um... Who do we who do we want to raid? From skis, is there anybody anybody that you watch? 
It's live um, right now. No one's live that I can see on my like follow list. I see there's Not anyone eight. key related. Uh, well, we got uh, we got Liz, Liz Kits, Liz Kits doing yeah. a uh, group by interest check review. We've got Lowell's Facts building a dodge, a, a dodgy and uh, an ID 80 by Andy Wynn. We could do Liz Kits with with, with basic. Oh, oh, there it is. All right. But yeah, Chewy, what are you doing on Saturday? I am building the OSA, my cafe themed OSA with lavenders. I'm extremely happy to finally get a lavender build going. Um, so that'll be that'll be a good time. Um also haven't built a board in a few weeks, so especially like a non 65% board I haven't built in forever. So <laughs> no, but <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so come join noon, uh, noon o'clock, that's <laughs> uh, 12, 12 p.m. <laughs> Central Time, uh, and we'll be building that that up. And then next week, Artisan April continues. We've got a, a lot of cool uh, makers there as well. Hellbent, Bad Chad, and Sodi Caps will be joining us to continue Artisan April. So yeah, should be a really good time. Absolutely, sounds like a good time. So come hang out with chewy saturday at noon and and go check out keep noobs uh b movie script typing <laughs> test because that sounds <laughs> hilarious um, <laughs> and be on the lookout for from keys next drop um but we're gonna be closing up tonight and we will see y'all on saturday and y'all have a good rest of your night and go check out liz kits <laughs>